Right, folks, today's finally the day. We're going upper body. It's been a while since I last got a tattoo. I am excited, having a little bit of a cliff bar. This is a big moment. Although I have tons of tattoos on my legs, arms, you're gonna see them all the time. So, I mean, I'm in shorts all the time anyway, so you see them all the time, but all right, let's go. Here's the stencil. Oh my goodness. Hello. 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 Hi. Hello. Alright, folks. So here she is. Just look at the shading. Look how good that looks. Maybe a little bit tender near the bony, like part of the wrist, but the most uncomfortable part was the position I had to be in. I was basically on my stomach arm back like this overall it felt pretty good i'm excited to get my upper body started i'm also going to be doing kind of like the patchwork style that i did with my lower body um, on my arm it is going to be a little bit more cohesive and i want to put a bit more thought into it versus my lower body was kind of whatever i thought looked nice also i gotta get something in my stomach because all i had today was that cliff bar I'm just gonna bake up some of these spring rolls we picked up from costco last week that innovation we got the dipping sauce in the middle might be hot mm-hmm mm -hmm. it's okay mm -hmm. so yesterday was a proper lazy day because after we ate we just slept for three hours and that was pretty much the rest of our evening how was your day yesterday it was pretty good yeah <laughs> you just slept all day, just literally slept all day. <laughs> hi Jasper just look at this peaceful morning Wow. Walking to the gym this morning. I believe we're doing a pull day, which I'm very excited for. Kind of in the middle of somewhat switching gyms, trying out different activities, doing a lot more yoga, and uh, I'm enjoying it. It's good. Okay, bye. These guys are going home. They're not going to the gym with me. Bye, Jasper. Oh, leave it. Babe, he just ate a tissue. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> you do? I did push today. Was it good? Uh -huh. Nice. Solid workout. However, um, these shoes were absolutely horrendous for the workout. These are my runners. Um, and as you can see, the sole is very foamy and gummy, which is good for running for me. However, when it comes to resistance training, you want a flat, stable base so that you can exert force into it. Um, and these just don't allow for that. So when I was doing like reverse lunges, it was very unstable. Um, so the more you know. You definitely don't need anything fancy. A lot of people, you know, they wear like Vans or Converse, anything flat would work. Um, I do really enjoy my Metcons, but they're just at the studio right now. Regardless, AG1, Seed, we're gonna get the day started. Something new I've been doing is once a week, I've been gently exfoliating my scalp using like a chemical exfoliant. So any type of HA, BHA, glycolic acid. Um, this is one that I got for like Ryan's back knee. And I've been using it kind of like a pre-wash treatment but once a week, get it into my hands, try to massage it into my scalp. Especially if you use like a lot of silicone conditioners, it can really lead to a lot of buildup and breakouts on the head, which is never fun. So it's nice to do this once a week, especially if you do have like chemical toners that were too, you know, aggressive for your face, you know, use it for your scalp and body and just don't let it go to waste. I'm just gonna let that sit on my scalp for about 10 minutes and then I'm just gonna shampoo and condition as usual.
Look at these pants. Women's pants from Lululemon. It has that slight utilitec fabric, but it's still very stretchy. My daily fall fragrance, we got Vetiver 46 Lalabo. Also look what came in the mail. What could it be? I already know what it is, but you don't. If you're a fan of my chill vlog style, you probably know this is one and only Michelle Choi Little Puppy. Oh. Oh! Wow, wow, wow. Michelle, if you're watching this, you're probably not. Very well done. Been also working on some new tote designs for Less Shitty. I know a lot of people requested some sort of like a zipper or a button to kind of keep uh, the top of the tote slightly closed. Um, but I kind of just like the openness of it and just kind of easy access of having just like an open top. Also like a simple button would just kind of help everything kind of keep its shape. But regardless, it just feels nice supporting um, a creator that I've personally been watching and been very inspired by. So yeah, congrats Michelle on Little Puffy. All right, it's a beautiful fall day. It's not raining. It's actually sunny. Open air, side by side we sway there in all the colors. So here's my infamous soup that is borderline risotto. If you haven't tried putting orzo in your soup, which is like a rice shaped pasta. Oh, yeah, I had a ton of carrots from our Costco haul last week, so I just wanted to use some of it up. Also, it's very chilly and rainy today, which is perfect soup weather. Mm. Also, Look at this cozy sweater. It's from the Lululemon Lab Collection. Their lab stuff is super interesting. It's a bit more like experimental and it's a little bit more out there because Lululemon is pretty kind of safe. So highly recommend, go check out their lab stuff. So something I've been thinking about more recently is that my weekends are very mundane and very kind of repetitive. Um, the weekends are what you guys see in the vlogs most of the time. And it's usually the same thing, workout, Maybe eat out for lunch or for dinner, come home, chill, and then kind of rinse and repeat. And I've talked about this before, but most of the times I don't mind that. I actually quite enjoy it. There are definitely instances where I just kind of feel guilty about not doing more or not doing things that are more adventurous. And I do think a lot of that comes from comparing myself to other people in my kind of industry who also work as content creators or YouTubers. They're doing all of these adventures and crazy challenges and different things. And I'm here <laughs> eating my stew, you know? I'm like, damn, I mean, I love this, but should I be doing more? I know everyone says this, like comparison is the thief of all joy, but it is so fucking true. So fucking true because to put it in perspective, to have a repetitive and mundane, boring life is an absolute privilege because my first generation immigrant parents would absolutely love to have a stable nine to five, get your paycheck, get your benefits, and take your vacation twice a year kind of thing. And if you compare that with like other lifestyles, Obviously, there are people who are living a lot more lavish that have bigger, better things, but like really putting some thought into it, would that make me happy? Would I be happy constantly traveling, constantly on the road? No, I would hate that. I love my routine and I'm so grateful that I'm able to do this as a part of my work. It's just absolutely unreal, but it is nice to have that reminder. And I'm not saying like you should be complacent and just doing the same thing over and over and just being comfortable. Like obviously get out of your comfort zone, but don't do it because you're feeling pressured by other people in your life, I guess. And I know it's definitely not just a content creator thing, whether you're in your career or you're feeling pressured to have kids as a woman and start a family, whatnot. Just, just take a step back. Go at your own pace. At the end of the day, it's your life. 
So yeah, just something I've been thinking of, something that I have to remind myself once in a while, especially right now, as I'm just kind of preparing for Less Shitty Drop 2, there isn't too much going on because it's for the majority a waiting game until everything arrives. And I hate just talking about what I'm gonna do or like my next big steps. I'd rather show you guys as it's happening. So, you know, if the vlogs are seeming a little bit mundane or repetitive, just, you know, it is what it is. It's life. Man, this is actually so good. Also, I love onions. <laughs> onions are so good. Like every time I cook with onions and like I hit in the pan, saute it a little bit, I'm like, oh, onions. I love onions. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and found maybe a couple different ways you can be a little bit less shitty yourself. As always, thank you guys for watching and remember to be less shitty. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Would you like some thumb rubs? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> This guy is so freaking adorable. I cannot. Oh my goodness. Ugh. You know when you just like sometimes think about when your dog is gonna die and then you're just like go so sad and you start crying? I do that so often. Oh, anyways.